First appearing in the 2012 video game Mass Effect 3, Palavin is a silvery world of fortresses and fire. Bathed in solar radiation let in by a weak geomagnetic field, the animal life on the planet has evolved shining carapaces rich in metallic elements to protect them from their sun's deadly rays, and the plant life undergoes a daily period of dormancy to safeguard its vulnerable metabolic processes before coming alive at twilight to repair cellular damage and flourish beneath the glow of the planet's vast aurorae. Palavin is the homeworld of the militaristic Turian race, one of the primary member species of the mighty Citadel Council, and possesses a population of approximately 6.1 billion, with several million more Turians living off-world. Turians are a bipedal species of sapient extraterrestrial beings standing at an average height of 1.8 meters and having an average weight of 120 kilograms. They have long, thick forearms and tridactyl hands, with their two fingers and opposable thumb all tipped with sharp talons. Their bodies are lithe and muscular and covered in a silvery carapace enriched with various metals. They have keen, forward-facing eyes and a set of mandibles framing the mouth. Females of the species are outwardly nearly indistinguishable from males, at least to human eyes, being only marginally shorter on average and lacking the crest of horns that males have on their head. The planet Palavin is a wet terrestrial with a radius 41% that of Earth and a mass 2.25 times greater. This gives it a reported surface gravity of 1.14 g and a lower than average mean density of 4.41 grams per cubic centimeter, revealing that it possesses a rather small iron core for a planet its size, which is undoubtedly the leading cause of its feeble magnetosphere. Palavin's exact surface water coverage is not known, but visual evidence suggests that it is greater than 50% and most likely comparable to Earth's. The planet's climate is considered warm by human standards and is reported to have an average temperature of 31 degrees Celsius, which is over twice that of Earth's average temperature. Its atmosphere has a nitrogen-oxygen composition believed to be similar to Earth's, and its atmospheric pressure at sea level is only 10% higher. Palavin is the third planet of six in the Trebia star system and orbits its single yellow star at a distance of 1.15 astronomical units, with a period of 438.3 days, or 371.7 local days, given the planet's 28.3-hour synodic rotation period. Unfortunately, data concerning the system's star is either unknown or classified by the Turian government though neither of these possibilities makes much sense, as it is unlikely that any of that information could pose a significant security risk to the system, and even a civilization as advanced as modern-day humans could easily determine those stellar properties remotely. Indeed, just using Kepler's laws of planetary motion and the orbit of Palavin, we can calculate the mass of Trebia to be approximately 1.056 solar masses. This would give it an estimated luminosity 24% higher than our sun and an effective temperature of 5900 Kelvin, which likely makes it a spectral type G0 yellow dwarf star. Palavin is orbited by two major moons named Mene and Nanus. Mene is its primary major moon and orbits at a distance of 1.67 lunar distances with a spin orbit period of 33 days. The rest of the moon's properties are classified by the Turin government, but imaging of Mene suggests that its angular diameter is approximately 23% that of Palavin, which is equivalent to a radius of about 2,068 kilometers or 19% larger than our moon Luna. Even less data is available for Nanus, but based on its appearance, it is likely just massive enough to be spherical. Though it is unclear how much we can trust angular diameter measurements that are based on the visuals of Mass Effect, as the view of Palavin from the surface of Minet is known to be greatly exaggerated. With Minet orbiting at an average distance of well over 570,000 kilometers, Palavin would have an angular diameter of only 1.8 degrees. This would make it appear nearly three and a half times larger than Luna appears in Earth's sky, far shy of its enormous horizontal presence in the game. So how does Palavin measure up as a science fiction planet? Palavin's mean density is surprisingly accurate. 
It is said to have a weak geomagnetic field, which would be a symptom of a low mean density and a small metallic core. So it's a bit confusing that the developers of Mass Effect would then go on to get the planet's surface gravity wrong. It's not off by a lot, they claim it's about 1.14 g while it's actually slightly less than 1.13, but it's weird that they got such a rudimentary calculation wrong at all. My guess is that they tried to use the simplified equation, but with excessively rounded values for Earth's mass and radius. I'm not going to deprive the planet of a point for it, but I am definitely going to call them out for being sloppy. Plus one point. Palavin's orbital distance and period are only realistic if the mass of the system star is indeed 1.056 solar masses. But this is questionable as calculations based on the orbits of the other planets in the system give wildly differing values for the star's mass. Had the developers of Mass Effect understood orbital mechanics as well as they thought they did, they would have realized that the Keplerian ratio parameter that they so confidently slapped onto all the planets in the game relates to the mass of the central star and therefore should be essentially the same for all planets in the system. Negative one point. There isn't a lot known about Palavin's atmosphere, but from the information we have, it is plausible that it could have the climate it is reported to possess. Though its weaker geomagnetic field is cause for concern. If this field is too weak, it could allow the atmosphere to be eroded by the star's stellar winds, which could lead to the planet eventually being rendered uninhabitable. But since we don't know the strength of Palavin's geomagnetic field nor the stellar winds it endures, I can't say for certain that this is an issue and therefore must award it the point. It is extremely unlikely for a terrestrial planet to have more than one spherical moon. This is due to the way major moons form around rocky planets and how the three bodies then interact with one another. When another moon attempts to form, it has a high probability of either colliding with the planet or the pre-existing moon, or destabilizing the system and causing one of the moons to be ejected from orbit. So Palavin having two major moons is likewise problematic. To make matters worse, Palavin's smallest moon, Nanus, has a significant angular diameter in Manet's sky, which suggests that the two moons don't have a large orbital separation. This would be a very unstable configuration that couldn't exist for more than a handful of orbits. But it is reasonable to conclude that Nanus's angular diameter is just as exaggerated as that of Palavin and that it actually orbits much farther away. This doesn't fix the issues with having two moons, but it does make those issues a bit less absurd. Negative one point. No information is given for the system star, and what can be calculated from the orbit of its planets is inconsistent, so zero points. With a total of zero points, the planet Palavin from Mass Effect receives an E grade. This makes it a rather typical example of a science fiction planet having equal parts fact and fantasy mixed with a generous helping of missing data. Thank you for joining me on this examination of the planet Palavin. From here, I'll be setting a course for another strange alien world, and I hope to see you there. Until then, have a safe journey. Commander Aldridge, out.